open air without a care Five weeks in a balloon I wouldn't trade my place today with the king of Mandalay High and low and away we go Five weeks in a balloon Now when I'm floating high up in the blue There is nothing I cannot do I'm taller than an elephant And twice as powerful too So come with me and you will see Why I'm happy as can be And you'll be too when you've been through Five weeks in a balloon With the wonders of nature below me And the limitless sky up above me I will touch the stars and bow to Mars Five weeks in a balloon During the day I will ride on a sunbeam During the night I will rest on a moonbeam I'll be lulled to sleep no counting sheep, five weeks in a balloon. When I'm floating high up in the blue, there is nothing I cannot do. I'm taller than an elephant and twice as powerful too. So come with me and you will see why I'm happy as can be. And you'll be too when you've been through five weeks in a balloon. And you'll be too when you've been through five weeks in a balloon. Stark insanity! Are we all to be smashed to smithereens in this fool machine? That was not my original intention. Take her up, man! Throw out the ballast! Isn't that how it's done? Very true, except that we carry no ballast. No ballast? No ballast except ourselves. Unless one of us like to jump overboard to save the others. Sir Henry? Explain what happened. You gentlemen wanted to ascend. I was very happy to oblige. How? The newest Ferguson invention. Which is? Explain it, Jock. Yes, sir. Gentlemen. The gas circulates through the pipes into this heating chamber. We turn up the heat, the gas expands, and up we go. We turn down the heat, and we drop like a busted balloon. No, don't do that. Watch here, gentlemen. Your safe is in your own beds. For the first time a balloon can rise or descend without loss of any gas. Very ingenious, no doubt. But was it necessary to treat us to cheap theatrics? Uh, my apologies, Sir Henry. So many of my brilliant inventions have passed unnoticed that I felt this one might fare better if presented with a certain dramatic impact. You have proved your point, Professor. Now, may we descend in a less rugged area? With pleasure. Home, Jock.
Monsieur Randolph, what are you doing here? The same as you, sir. After all, the professor's story will interest my readers, too. Yes, and here is a story that will interest you. In trouble again. Perfect demonstration, eh? Well, gentlemen, are you ready to take another trip on my good ship, Jupiter? I, I, I have a pressing appointment, sir. Ah, that's a pity. Sir Henry, now that my balloon is a proven success, can I count on the financial backing of the Royal Geographic Institute to carry out my plans? Your plan, sir, is completely lunatic. Exploring East Africa in this, this imbecilic contraption. Imbecilic? I know Africa. Neither you nor your toy would last a week. How dare you refer to Ferguson's masterpiece as a toy? <laughs> Ferguson's folly, sir. Sir, you go too far. I will go farther. As president of the Royal Geographic Institute, I will not recommend one penny for your preposterous project. And I'm sure our good treasurer agrees. I do indeed. A good day to you, sir. And goodbye. Good morning to you, Professor. What happened up there, Professor? Sir Henry Vining is a human ostrich. The first sign of progress, he buries his head in the sand and hopes that it will go away. Ostrich. Before my invention, no man could maneuver a balloon without the loss of gas or ballast. Sir Henry's adult, who cannot recognize the greatest breakthrough in science since steam replaced sail. Then your expedition is off, sir? Without the backing of the Financial Institute, I'm afraid so. One moment, please. And who might you be, sir? The name is Cornelius Randolph, publisher of the Randolph newspapers in America. I'm very happy to meet you, sir. How can I help you? Oh, we can help each other, sir. Now then, I understand your project is for the exploration and mapping of East Africa, starting from Zanzibar. That was my intention. Oh, stupendous story, if successful. Sir, you could not be more right. Then go to it, sir. With my blessing and my backing. But why would you, an American... Circulation, Professor, circulation. New Yorkers will be fighting to buy Mr. O'Shea's story of your adventures. Mr. O'Shea? Yes, yeah, Donald O'Shea, my star reporter. And where is this gentleman? O'Shea's in Paris at the moment on a uh, special assignment. I'll have him join you in Zanzibar. Mr. Randolph, as you Americans say, it's a pleasure to do business with you. And your Mr. O'Shea will be very welcome. Good. You'll find him a splendid and... Uh, Inoffensive, young man. I tell you, Inspector, again, my ship sails within the hour. This is downright abduction.
if you please, sir. I do not please. And I demand to know the reason for this outrage. They will explain inside. Professor Ferguson? It certainly is Professor Ferguson. And I've no time for jiggery pokery. Somebody's going to pay for this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your hat, sir. My hat, sir, stays where it is. This way, please. I cannot delay another minute. Professor Ferguson, sir. My ship sails on the tide. Never fear, Professor. Your ship won't sail without you. Mr. Prime Minister. Good evening, Professor Ferguson. I do not understand this last minute hocus pocus. Excuse me, sir. This uh, honor. Please be seated. Thank you. Brandy? Thank you, no. Her Majesty offers her sincere good wishes. I'm deeply touched, but I wasn't aware Her Majesty was interested. Interested? And perturbed, sir. Perturbed? By my actions? Not yours. Allow me. Less than three hours ago, we learned that an expedition of international slave traders will soon leave the West Coast and head for the heart of West Africa. No man's land, eh? But what is this expedition? If the slavers like... plant their flag there, they will control the entire territory. A very bitter pill for us. True. We've been planning to explore and develop that territory. Now we have an urgent incentive. The prevention of slavery. But hasn't the slave trade already been outlawed? Yes, but only by the major nations. Aye. If they plant their flag, they'll make their own laws and put everyone to the yoke. Exactly, Professor. It is a little of a mess. Something's got to be done. But what's to do? We must plant our flag first. It cannot be done. Start readying a British expedition, and those savers will be running for the Voltaire River before you can hoist your britches over your knees. That's why you must plant it. Me? How? Fool them. Fly directly from Zanzibar to the Volta River. Uh, a little mild exploring, say a 200-mile flight over East Africa is one thing. But to fly 4,000 miles over unexplored jungle? Well, that's another. It could be suicidal. Her Majesty realizes that. She even wagered me a sovereign that you would not take the risk. Well, Her Majesty's just lost herself a sovereign. If my life's to be sacrificed, I cannot think of a better cause. I knew we could count on you. But what about this young American reporter that I've agreed to take along? It's Donald O'Shea. Take him. A perfect witness. I do not follow. In case of a legal dispute, the eyewitness report of an American would be conclusive evidence of our claim. Aye. And they tell me that he's a pleasant, inoffensive young lad, this Donald O'Shea. <laughs> Get a slave? Well, they'll cut you to pieces and kill the rest of us, too. Yeah, can't stand a sight of blood, especially my own. Oh, hey, come! Come on, let's go! <laughs> Come on, 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 come on,
Ferguson. The British consulate. Come on. Ah. Bad news, sir. Bad news. How bad? A letter from the Prime Minister by special courier. What does he say? The slavers know of your plan to beat them to the Volta. No. They left their base a week ago. How long will it take them to reach the river? I'd say six weeks. That leaves me exactly five. It's impossible to beat them. Nonsense, sir. Nothing's impossible. There's uh, something else. Well, I've got enough surprises for one day. Well, let me hear the worst. You are to be accompanied by the Queen's special envoy. The professor, I'm sure, will benefit by the invaluable experiences and advice of the ex-commandant of Khartoum. Sir Henry Vining. General Vining, sir. Formerly known as the Scourge of the Desert. Am I to be saddled with you, sir, all the way across Africa? <clears throat> I am equally distressed, sir. However, a soldier does not question his orders. You said that my balloon was a toy. Uh, perhaps the Prime Minister shares my views and wants a steadier hand at the helm. I'm in command. I am the expert on Africa. And I'm the expert in balloons. Oh. Gentlemen, every hour count. Every minute, sir. The wearing tarnation is that reporter. Wasn't he on your ship? There was an irksome chap aboard. We had nothing in common. We have one thing in common. Five weeks in a balloon. Should be very cozy. <coughs> What's happening now? Run, run! They're right behind us! Professor, that's the irksome young man. Professor! Professor! It's Mr. O'Shea, Professor. Well, gentlemen. Mr. O'Shea, what jiggery poker is this? And who is the chicken thief? His name is Makia. Pretty, isn't she? The slave traders whipped her, but he saved her. He what? You can't do this kind of thing in Zanzibar. It's against the law. She must be returned immediately. And the chicken, too. Oh, no, you don't. You should have seen that bull whip. Be quiet, sir. Return this girl to our owner. And the chicken. Over my dead body. That could be arranged, young man. Listen, Mr. Hold sir. your tongue, sir. Didn't you cause enough trouble on the ship? Tried to kiss Lord Jolliphant's daughter without an introduction. That'll cool them off. Walk the fog. Walk the fog. You killed. Oh, eh, she never learned that in a finishing school. Mr. Townsend. What? Mr. Townsend, sir. What is it? The marketplace is in an uproar. Your man helped the American to free that slave girl. They know he's with you, and they're going to destroy your balloon. And they told me you were an inoffensive young man. Thank you very much, sir, for all you've done. My carriage is below. Take it. Thank you, sir. Everybody on the double. Hurry up, get the stuff loaded. Is it safe? Of course not. After you, General. Let go. They'll be here in a minute. Jock! Jock! Get her up. The heat's low, Professor, and all that baggage. Baggage? Thunderation! Where did all this trash come from? Over with them, General. Boy, over. 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 But not that one, that's mine. Over. What do you think you're doing? Put that down, that's mine. Is it indeed? Over with it. No. Oh, wait a minute, Professor. Now you just hold that. That's my new Parisian clothes. How dare you, sir? Why, that's the most preposterous. Take your hands off that hat. Wait, wait. You! You there! Give me back that coat! Why? Ferguson, are those two men leading the mob? 
They were on my ship. They must be agents of the slavers. Are you sure? Indubitably. They must have whipped up the mob because of your change in plans. What change in plans? Take it up, Doc. plans. May as well tell him, Professor. Why not? We're going to West Africa, Mr. O'Shea. West Africa? You're crazy. Knowing Sir Henry's views on my toy, I'm quite sure he agrees with you. I couldn't care less, but I do want to know why the sudden change in plans. We are going to plant the flag, sir. The what? The flag. You stop listening and stop jabbering, Mon. You need to get down. And let these wallas see me grovel? <laughs> Unthinkable. What flag, General? The Union Jack, sir. If this idiot contraption can stay aloft, Britain will keep the heart of West Africa out of the hands of the slavers. Who cares? Why should the Randolph press get involved in British politics? Besides, I'm due to winter on a Riviera. You see what these colonials have come to? Since we gave them their freedom, they don't know right from wrong. Gave us our freedom? Good shot, sir. But it's a small question of illicit slave trading, you know. If we fail, heaven help the natives. Fine, but I'm a reporter, not a reformer. I demand we return to Zanzibar right now. Out of the question. Then I withdraw our financial support. That's a pity. How do we pay our hotel bills in the jungle? We are quite safe now. And we've a bunch of planning to be up to. 4,000 miles of it. Can you join me in the chart room, General? We failed. Not yet. Hey, you, Jackie boy. You're my last hope. I appeal to you as a fellow American. But I'm Canadian. You don't look it. It's a common mistake. I'm a next door neighbor from Niagara Falls. Yeah, well, will you be a good neighbor and steer this flying booby hatch back to Zanzibar? Steer? You're joking, of course. What do you mean by that? Only the wind steers a balloon. Where it goes, we go. Well, then how do you expect to find a target 4,000 miles away? It's simple. The wind blows east to west. We just hitch a ride. But we can change course if necessary. How do you do that? Well, there are plenty of crosswinds up there. We go up, test different levels, till we find a breeze blowing in the right direction. I hear you talking, but it still doesn't make any sense. And if something gets in our way, we just blow the whistle. The whistle? Hushman, be quiet. I tell you the slaves are right here, right now. You are 200 miles off. They are here in the Segalia foothills. Sir, you are wrong. They're at the Senegal River. Piffle. Today with the king of Mandalay. High and low and away we go, five weeks in a balloon. With the wonders of nature below me and the limitless sky up above me, I will touch the stars and bow to Mars, five weeks in a balloon. During the day I will ride on a sunbeam, during the night I will rest on a moonbeam, I'll be loath to sleep, no counting sheep, five weeks in a balloon. When I'm floating high up in the blue, there is nothing I can do. I'm taller than an elephant and twice as tall as you. So come with me and you will see why I'm happy as can be. 
And you'll be too when you've been through five weeks in a balloon. Five weeks in a balloon. Five weeks in a balloon. There you are, Sir Henry. If our instruments do not play as false as the places here. Agreed? Agreed. Take her down, Jock. Down? Aye, we will not fly after dark. We might hit a mountain. Supper when we land, gentlemen. Oh, uh, wait a minute. What if the natives down there want supper too? Us. You know, they could sneak up on us during the night. Oh, that'd be ranked bad form. It's an axiom of warfare. No fighting after sundown. Well, I hope the natives know the rules. 300 miles today, gentlemen. It is a bonny pace. If the wind holds, we'll beat the slavers with time to spare. Coming down. <laughs> Slowly now. There's no place to land down there. Gently now. Forest for the trees. Steady, Jock. Sidewalk cafe in sight. Aye, they don't serve the guests here, they eat them. Nothing worse than a man eating lion. I hope I'm not his man. General, what do you think that is? You're the expert on African affairs. I've heard that often. That is a rampaging rhinoceros. Vicious brutes, better get your gun. Vicious brute indeed. <coughs> Another rhinoceros general. <coughs> Careful, boy, that's my prize teapot. My constant companion since cartoon. <laughs> Never fear, general. I'll guard it with my life. Dinner's ready, Mr. O'Shea. Boiled rice, eh? Cotton chutney. Mr. O'Shea, this is not a fashion parade. My dear professor, I always dress for dinner. I must say, Professor, the lad shows good breeding. I have always felt that the mark of a gentleman... Spare us your platitudes, General. The victuals are beginning cold. Oh. And spare us your bickerings. And let us drink to the success of a very worthy mission. I'll drink to the success of my mission, which is to get back to civilization and have Uncle Cornelius sue you for breach of contract. Uncle Cornelius? What? So you're Randolph's nephew? Mm -hmm. Now I understand why he wanted to get you out of his hair. Be that as it may, you're not honoring your contract. My contract with your uncle was to traverse East Africa. That's right. And we are traversing it. <laughs> I never said you would not travel further. So here's to the good ship Jupiter. Well, I could have sworn I had not touched my wine. There's plenty more, Professor. Don't uh, I get any chicken? Well, I gave you some. Where? 
Uh, I must be getting jungle fever. Mm. Here's a nice wing. Wait, Scott! A still away. Hey. Where'd you come from? Oh, Makia, hide up there. Then hide here. Why'd you do such a silly thing? Pasha O'Shea, he saved me. Pasha O'Shea, he own me now. No? No. Where you go, me go. I don't want her. Well, give it away. Yeah, that's a good idea. You take it, Jocko. Well, not me. Oh, I pass to the general. Oh, good heavens, no. Lady Vining would never approve. She's yours, Professor. You flatter me, General. No one wish me? Me go back to Zanzibar. Stop that girl. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. You can't go anywhere. You'll never get past the first lion. Then me stay. All own me now, me eat. Well, it seems we have no alternative. All the way across Africa without a chaperone? Oh, it's most irregular. <coughs> That is not a rhinoceros either, General. Our table seems to attract the strangest guests. It certainly does, General. <clears throat> Quite. All right, African expert. What would you say those drums mean? I never heard them a cartoon. I'd wager it's some sort of a message. A brilliant deduction, General. <laughs> Remarkable animal. By Jove, a simian sot. <laughs> Yourself some coffee. Here, here. Like this. There you go. How's that? Some coffee? Please. What's the matter? Can you sleep? Time's bad. Maybe we better go back to Zanzibar. You afraid, little one? Evil out there. Things crawl, bite, gobble up my Kia. <coughs> you protect me, no? Just a moment. Come here, you. Now, I want you to get back on guard duty. Freeze a crowd, even in the jungle. Yeah, come on. Let's go. Come on. You were saying? You may be by Makia. Keep her for your very own. Buy? People just don't buy each other. It's uncivilized. How then you get a woman? Well, when two people love each other, they just get married. How you make that? Get married? Well, you just buy a license, go to a preacher, and he legally makes you man and wife. How much cost this license? Oh, just a few shillings, that's all. Ah. What does that mean? Oh, in Zanzibar, a girl like me cost many English pounds. In London, you buy girl legal for just a few shillings. Only difference I see. Must be plenty girls there to buy them for so cheap. You don't understand. Oh, I do. <laughs> Civilized ways is to make laws so you men buy women for almost for nothing. Where it's safe. The general's right. Head for the storm cellar. Not only chances, 
ride it out. On the ground there will be torn to bits. Ferguson, you fool, you got the control. Fix it, Jacques. The broken plug won't hold much longer. We must land. That should make you happy, General. Mal de Mer runs in my family. And his family, too? We must find a place to land. It's a good idea if we can get through this boiled cabbage. Please, do mention food. Open space ahead! <laughs> hey, that's a pretty big city. Down that side, it must have been blown south. Unless I'm out of my wits, this must be Hazak. Better dress up a bit. Natives are always impressed by a uniform. Come along. Afraid of the balloon, we might be safe. I'm counting on it. You'd better take over. Oh, oh. My good man, we have a leaky balloon. Shubiun! You mean that you don't understand the language? Oh, good heavens, no. All natives should learn the Queen's English. General, I don't know what I'd do without your help. Marhaba. Marhaba. Ahlan usahlan. Abitkun al hizak birahib la ilah al amar. Moon god. What's a moon god? Is Sultan Ayan Maskin. What's the fellow saying? They believe our balloon is the moon and the moon god is paying a visit. Moon god? <laughs> Me, of course. No, O'Shea. They believe you're the moon god's slave with the three eyes. Slave? <laughs> Impertinence. Me, moon god? 
Why me, Mungad? Why, well, because you're red-headed and handsome. At least to their uncivilized eyes. Thank if I'm a slave, what are you? I'm the Moon God's medicine man. And there are six sultans in need of my ministration. Oh. Ben Avil. What you tell the fellow? I said that we go along. Jock, first aid kit. Yes, sir. And the Moon God slave will carry that. And make that repair fast. Yes, sir. Slave indeed. What would they say at the cavalry club? Oh, probably piffle. Hmm. What if a what if a sultan dies? Well, you'll never make it back to the moon, lad. Vlad al Amar, Hadrat al Sultan, be stannakun. Vatalo. Oh, thank you. Aye, he's sick. Severe attack of pombiitis. Pombiitis? Pomb is a powerful native drink. <laughs> oh, he's looped. He's fried to the gills. Any black coffee around? We've got something more stimulating. Slave, ammonia. Slave, ammonia. Hey, your partner, can you grovel a bit? Can't you grovel a bit? Well, if this doesn't work, the Sultan's a god here. Keep your fingers crossed, laddies. He's telling the Sultan who we are. Hurry, hurry. He's calling for more wine and a feast to boot. This will last for hours. He'll never make it to the dessert. <laughs> Quite right, laddie. You did not make it. Hey, 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 easy, easy, I'm ticklish. 
issue with those toad stickers. Again. Aye, that's the word. It's time we were toddling. Thank you, I don't want to be a moon god. Ah, steady, Larry, steady. <laughs> You're trying to be a moon guard, General. Watch your tongues out. Come on! Come on! He's calling for Ahmed the slaver. Leave this to us. And you'd better watch your step. You're in the presence of the moon god. Moon god? Oh, pardon me. How come the moon god speaks English? Never mind that. She's leaving with us right now. No. Try and stop us. You're talking to the moon god. What's that? Since when are two moons in the sky? Haribas! Haribas! What's the Topa saying? The real fakes and the jiggies up. to blame, sir? You, sir. Me, sir? Moon god, indeed. <laughs> Slave. <laughs> Take care of her, lass. Watch out! Oh, look who's here. Throw him overboard. No, that's not our way. There's a bonny buff there. Thank you. 
But what do we do with him now? Quite too violent, sir. Sorry. You're killed! Water! Hey. What are you trying to do? Poison me? Poison too good for you. you Throw him to jackal. No, no, he is now a prisoner of all and must be taken back to stand trial. What have you got there? Nice medals, huh? British campaign medals? Professor, look at these. China? India? Where did you steal these from? What? I don't steal. I'm an honest slave trader. Oh, uh, little things, they come my way once in a while. Like this? Oh, diamonds? Wait, Scott, look at these. Search him. Yes, go on, search him. Search him. These must be worth millions. You stole these from the Sultan. Allah gives, Allah takes away. He certainly does. I confiscate this booty. It goes to the British Crown. Uh-uh, not all of it. International law states we get 50% as fine as fee. That is correct. I'll hold it for safekeeping. What's happening? Oh, come on down, miss. Here, take these, Doc. Yes, sir. Don't be alarmed, miss. He's our prisoner now. Sit here, young lady. There. Thank you. This is Mr. Donald O'Shea. Of the Randolph Press, ma'am. My young friend, Jock. Ma'am. Machia, you know. She's been very kind. Sir Henry Viney. Military commander of the expedition. How do you do? How do you do? And I'm Samuel Ferguson of Scotland. How do you do? I'm Susan Gale from Virginia. I was teaching at the Dodoma mission when uh, he raided us. Business is business. The vicious business, brutal and inhuman. Aye. That's why we're headed for the Volta River. The Volta? Oh, but you'll never make it. Oh, we will, miss. Oh, please believe me, I know. I've lived in Africa for over six years. We must. We're raising a band of slavers. If we plant our flag first, we'll prevent the whole area from falling into their clutches. Well, I can hardly believe it. You mean someone's finally taking action? Well, not all of us. It seems that Mr. O'Shea here is indifferent to the suffering of others. Unless it happens to be a bonny young lass like you or Makia here. Now, just a minute. When I said the slave trade's no concern of the newspaper or my assignment, Trafficking I... in human lives is everybody's concern. Either you're for it or against it. No, I'm for it. Miss Gale, you missed my point entirely. Listen. Can you interpret the message of those drums, miss? Yes, they... They say, white demons are riding across the sky. Catch them. And they also say, kill them and burn them. You'll make a juicy dish. <laughs> English roast. <laughs> Pretty dress. She real lady now. <laughs> you mean the chimp or me? Oh, it's both. <laughs> well, lass, you look bonny, Mr. O'Shea's hand-me-downs. I never looked as good as that in those clothes. Positively indecent. In those clothes I couldn't even give her away. Where are we now, Professor? Right here. But most of our journey is still before us. And where would the slavers be? I'd say uh, crossing the mountains of Kong, traveling slowly. And I'd say proceeding down the Niger, traveling fast.
Good day, Susan. Good day, Mr. O'Shea. Up to it, everybody. We've a long day of flying ahead of us. Gather food and fuel first, then we'll be on our way. What about breakfast? D don't you see I'm fading away? You look terrible. You'll never make it to prison. Very funny. The ladies will gather fruit, some of us will chop wood, and some of us will stand guard. As for the slave trader, he will work for his breakfast like everyone else. Hand him an axe. I've just lost my appetite. And what will you do, General? Reconnoiter, of course. When on a military mission, always reconnoiter. Of course. How foolish of me not to have known. Come along, Jock. You too, Ahmed. Working makes me nervous. Cancel, please. Thank you. Oh, Miss Gale. Yes? May I talk to you for a moment? What about? I don't know. I'm a boy, you're a girl. There must be something we can talk about. Like what, Mr. O'Shea? Like first, my name is Donald. Secondly, you've been avoiding me ever since you came aboard the balloon, which isn't easy considering how small it is. Just because we had a little misunderstanding. Little misunderstanding? Mr. O'Shea, I'm sorry we don't share the same views about slavery. Since I feel so strongly on the subject, I'm afraid we have nothing to talk about. Now, Miss Gale, you've got me all wrong. I mean, just because I said the slave trade was no concern of my uncle's newspapers. Coming, Leslie. Coming, Professor. Please excuse me. Of course. Young man. Young man. Stand guard. This is dangerous country, teeming with uh, danger. It shoots from this end. This end? That is correct. Hmm. What'll they think of next? <sighs> Come on, young woman. Come on. Hop, two, three, four. Hop, two, hop, left, right. Lovely. Up, two, three, four. Up, two, up, left, right. Can't you keep in step? Come along. Up, two, three, four. Come along. Up, two, three, four. Up, you mean to Pasha up, Donald? Left, him right. good man, but you not treat him good. Your Pasha thinks only of himself. Oh, not so. Pasha have big heart. And save you from slavery. Save me too. He saved you? How? Oh, in Zanzibar, him fight, risk life, hit slaver overhead. Pasha not like slavery. Hmm. Pasha like you. Well, perhaps I was too severe. <laughs>
nice pussycat. You, you don't want to eat me. I'm too scrawny. I'm skinny. No meat. Help! Help! No, 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 pussycat, no. Shh, go away. Go away. Nice pussycat. Fellas, that was a line, a line. Oh, boy, well, thanks anyway, but uh, you guys speak English? Huh? Speak as Deutsch? Parlez-vous français? Oh, no. Huh? Can you get me out of here? That's it. That's it. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. You don't know how uncomfortable it's been up in there. My name is Donald O'Shea. I'm happy to meet oh, you no. all. Th You share his views too. Well, how can I, Donald? Busy down there. Bye. You first. A religious ritual? Certainly not. I must keep fit. What in this sun? What does this heat? <laughs> How are you English? Yeah. Funny. <laughs> I cooked it myself. Give me. You can't have any. <laughs> Don't 
grabbing Josh. Oh, Josh! Oh, 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 I'm terribly sorry. I fool you, Bendy. We are doomed. That person, do something. I'm, I'm terribly sorry. I fool you, blundering fool. It's sabotage. Are you in league with the slavers? Yes, I'm in league with the slavers. Are you crazy? Hello, protect us from our friends. It's caught in the tree. What a piece of luck. Heaven be praised. How one man can get into so much trouble, I'll never know. Neither will I. General? An excellent idea. Thank you. Hmm? Gentlemen, I... I'd like you to know how sorry I am for... Being an idiot? Young man, you nearly wrecked our project back in Zanzibar. Later, because of you, we were attacked by natives, and finally, we were almost marooned in the middle of Africa. Now, wait a minute. You couldn't have dragged me along in this flying circus if I'd known what it was about. Now that you do know what it's about, you still wish to be Oot? What's the sense of wishing? I'm trapped. Maybe not. Have a look out there. Ahmed, take a look at that caravan. Will you tell me where you think it's heading for? Oh, to the Nile. It's a, it's a three months journey, if they are lucky. And for a proper remuneration, do you think they'd consider taking this young man along? Take me along? For a diamond of this size, he could buy the whole caravan. Maybe you could take me along too. You, sir, are going to the West Coast to stand trial for slave trading and kidnapping an American. I was only asking. Now, uh, look, you can't slough me off on a camel ride. I represent Uncle Cornelius. We're using his money. <laughs> you are wrong, sir. When the plans were changed, this became a British-financed expedition. Oh, so Uncle Cornelius became expendable. And so did you. Except as a witness. A witness? To what? The planting of the flag, sir. Oh. So that's why you dragged me along. Yes. As an American, your testimony will carry great weight but we have a much less troublesome witness, Miss Susan Gale. So fare ye well, Mr. O'Shea. Oh. Come on, dig him out! Come on, dig him out!
Come on by. All right, Jock. Keep the pressure up. Yes, sir. I said, everybody, keys red. We are doomed. Professor, steady as you can. Great Scott! Do something, can't you do something? Lend me your teapot and I'll make a cup of tea. What? Well, what exactly do you suggest, General? Well, I... <laughs> This postpones my camel ride? Only for the moment. At the first opportunity, we shall part company with great pleasure and no regrets. <laughs> Oasis ahead! Where? There! Over there! Down there! Come down, lad. Make ready to land. Here am I, what a lucky guy, as the world goes floating by. In the open air, without a care, five weeks in a balloon. During the day, I will ride on a sunbeam. During the night, I will rest on a moon. What's wrong with you? Trade my place today with the king of Mandalay. High and low and away we go, five weeks in a balloon. With the wonders of nature below me and the limitless sky up above me, I will touch the stars and bow to Mars, five weeks in a balloon. During the day I... Never thought I'd welcome a sandstorm. I guess you're stuck with me now. For how long? Sir Henry said it was a reprieve, not a pardon. Oh? Is that the way you want it? Oh, Donald, I didn't want you to go. I don't know. But beating those slavers has to come first. You're just too big a risk. Mm. Oh. Maybe when it's all over, we can meet again. It's a date. Professor. Professor, I protest I wasn't born to work. I'm sorry, I meant we've a lot of catching up to do. But I don't like it. Dog! Dog! Yes, sir? <laughs> yes, sir? Oh, get the heat up, Jock. We'll be on our way. Where would the slavers be, Professor? Well, if I were to make a guess, I would say this jungle area here. <laughs> Dates. Would you like something to eat? What? Specialty of the house, a date salad Sahara. It's the only thing on the menu. Oh, Donald, you're an idiot. You're so right.
they want. I'm not a slave. I sell them. What are they going to ask me to do next? Oh, quit muttering, Alman. Everyone has to do their share. I'm not muttering. Yes, go home. <laughs> Quiet, O'Shea. They don't know that you're up there. Stay in the cabin, Jock. They're afraid of the balloon. What about the hum? There's nothing you can do for us now, O'Shea. So push on. For once in your life, do something right. Plant the flag. Professor? Have a care, sir. There are laws of decency. Yama! <laughs> Yalla! Him show! Kaharaku! It might be wise to do as they say, Professor. The bakers must have realized their error. Probably taking us to the palace to ask our forgiveness, eh? Highly unlikely. Why do you always argue? That beggar can't hurt anyone. Well, is this your idea of a palace, General? I am a forgiving man, but believe me, I shall write a stinging letter to the Times. So that'll be a great help. Someone's coming. So, the white demons come to Timbuktu. What? The jungle drums are on efficient telegraph. I am the Sheikh Agaba. Now look here, my good man. I trust you had a pleasant trip. You know about the journey. I know about her destination also. The river Volta, is it not? Jungle drums are very efficient. Yes, they are speaking from the west as well as the east. The slave expedition is now only two days from the Volta. Professor. They're ahead of their timetable. I hardly think you'd have beaten them, even if you'd survived. What do you mean, sir? We have survived. Merely a technicality. Well, what does that mean? It means that you're Christians, infidels. You've dared to enter the forbidden city of Timbuktu. Dared? We were dragged here. Look, sir, if you had any regard for the law... Being the chief magistrate of Timbuktu, I have every regard for the law, which is very clear in your case. If an unbeliever enters the forbidden city, he must die at sunset the same day, inshallah, it is written. And what will the slavers pay for this service, Mr. Agabar? There may be some consideration, but it hardly concerns you. You will be joining our ancestors in exactly six hours. Not the lasses. The infidel, unfortunately, yes. The little one will be sold at auction. I myself should be a bidder. Can you help? No. It tricked me! It tricked me, Omar! No! I... Yeah, Omar! It tricked me! 
You, sir, are a villain. In Timbak, too, it is safer to be a villain than an infidel. Professor, do something. Any last request? Oh, that's very nice of you. I should like some hot water. Beautiful merchandise, huh? It's the Sultan from Hazak. What's he doing here? It's not the Sultan. It's his cousin, Redbeard. He's got cousins all over. Makia! Be quiet. I want to get us killed. <laughs> That amorous piece of elegance just offered a hundred and fifty. <laughs> well, you office. You're rich, but you're not supposed to talk. Me king dinar. Let me dinar. I'll run me dinar. Who's me? Say when. Achras. Tara dinar. Adolf! Tell it, Marat! Artisma! He says she's a skinny chicken, but that, that's an old bargaining trick. Then we win? <laughs> Adolf! Offer everything! We, we must not seem too anxious. We are supposed to, to examine the merchandise. Sir. Give him everything. It wasn't that easy to steal, but... Mash on on! She's ours! Here are the horses. Get on, quick. How do you get horses? I'm low. Oh, we ran into some strangers and uh, we persuaded them to lend us these things. Where are the others? Have they sold them yet? No, they are to die as infidels. Die? When? At sunset, when the muezzin, he called the evening prayer from the minaret and all the faithful, they bowed toward Mecca. How were they to die? I do not know. I'm afraid I do. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allah. <laughs> As soon as the holy man is finished, it will be quick, soon. Be brave. Easy, easy, careful. Hi, you go. Hi, you go.
Rebecca! Help me, help me! John, grab my hand! Let's go! Jump, Susan! Jump! Jump, Tom! Jump! Slow leak, General. The scimitar's wedged in there like a plug. Good, as long as it doesn't unplug itself. Is there anything I can do? Haven't you done enough? That's the third time you saved my life. Third time lucky? Third time unlucky. I told you it was only right for the first time in your life. But by disobeying orders, you've wrecked the whole thing. The yeah. slavers will get there first. There's just no pleasing you people. We can still win. We have four days to go. Two. Less than two. The slavers are ahead of their timetable. Then we've got to risk flying at night. Aye. Aye, that might give us a chance. Yeah, if we don't hit a mountain. <laughs> oh, shut up. Take us back. Leave us. Move on! There it is, the Volta. My God, we may beat them yet. I don't see their flag. She's ripping away! Doc, full pleasure. We must lighten the load. Everything overboard. Yes, everything overboard. Makia, it's time to run some of that stuff out. We're still falling. Come in here and lend a hand. I'm in. Go on, help, Jock. What is it now? I don't understand all this. Why bother? We are doomed anyway. I'm in. Come on, all right? Please. Still losing pressure. You all need this, General, I say! We're going to hit! Aye, we've come to it. Everything overboard. Everything overboard. No, no, I'm not the diamond. I said everything. We've made it! We've made it! Not yet, lass. We've got to plant the flag. Look! The slavers! Why, the dirty swine! If they cross first, we're lost. Get the anchor, Chuck. Tie the cord to the shroud. Yes, sir. Up into the crow's nest, everybody. Why? 
That is an order, General. Up, everybody, up, lasses. Hold on. Up, everybody. Are you completely up your trumpet? Up, everybody. You are. He's going on! 
over. Thanks, General. This is one campaign I'm plotting all by myself. <laughs> I, I hate to spoil things, Professor, but how are we going to get out of here? There's your answer, Ahmed. We ride the river to the coast. Look! London, here I come. What happened to Makia now? Worry. I have very definite plans for you. Like four shillings for license? I wouldn't dream of paying more. <laughs> well, General, it's been a rough five weeks, but I'm sure you'll agree it's been worthwhile. Professor, I was wrong. Your balloon was certainly no toy. And I'm sure Her Majesty will be most gratified at our success. Thank you, General. <clears throat> Pity about the teapot. <laughs> Me and you will see why I'm happy as can be. And you'll be too when you've been through five weeks in a balloon. And you'll be too when you've been through five weeks in a balloon. 